And welcome back to Rogers Arena in Vancouver, British Columbia. The starting lineup for Hawaii, Shaquille Stokes, Miles, Joaquim, Wiseman, and there's Zane Johnson. The head coach is Gib Arnold, played at, the, uh, at Brigham Young University and now here at the University of Hawaii. The starting lineup for Gonzaga looks like this. Kevin Pangos, Marquise Carter, Mike Hart, Rob Sacre, and Elias Harris, head coach Mark Few. And now we're ready for the tip-off. It'll be Rob Sacre tipping off against Vander Joaquim. Of course, Mark Few now in his 13th season, 318 wins and 83 losses. And here we go. Sacre home in Canada and wins the opening tip. Greg Heister, Dan Dickow, Richard Fox. We're Don Cherry away from basketball night in Canada. If you're a hockey fan, you know what that means. If you're not a hockey fan, you'll have no idea what that meant. Here's Elias Harris. Wiseman there, ball tipped away. And our first whistle of the game. You know, right off the bat, you see Gonzaga going to Harris down on the block. Great job of spacing, giving him plenty of room to operate. Try to create a mismatch, create a problem. Foul called on Davis Rositis. That's his first. Actually, that foul was called on Wiseman. Check that. There's a shot off, rebounded by Joaquim, and back come Hawaii. Shaquille Stokes, number four, gentlemen, the New York City Player of the Year a year ago in high school and has come all the way to Hawaii to play college. There he is with the ball right down the lane, blocked by Harris and dug out of there by Mike Hart. Hart thought about the three and now Marquise Carter. Here's Hart, open three, in and out. Back comes Hawaii. Ball knocked away by Carter, and now it goes out of bounds. The officials look at one another and give it to GU. The officials are Don McAllister, Brett Nansel, and Scott Harris. Right off the bat, I like the energy Gonzaga's bringing on the defensive end. First play of the game, Stokes splits a pick and roll. Defense, Gonzaga's got help side defense there. Second possession there. After the play went out of bounds, the whole Gonzaga bench was up cheering. That's very important in a neutral site game like this. Here's Sacre's shot from the elbow is off, but Pango's there with the rebound. Hart into the lane. Harris with eight on the shot clock. Pango's little runner hit the side of the glass. And Hawaii basketball. Good. Having a tough time making buckets right now for GU, but I like the patience offensively. Good ball swings, good patience. You know, Dan, you talked about being one of the keys to the game. You're coming into a neutral court on the road, not a lot of energy in the building, and it's going to take some time for these guys to get going. There's Miles now, and he's bumped by Marquise Carter. That'll be his first, team's first. One of the ways... Can foul, Dan. Sorry, Greg. One of the ways that you can really create energy for a team is players on the bench be focused on what's going on and give support right. verbally and emotionally to those guys that are playing. Well, you, you said it when uh, G.U. came up with that steal, Marquise. The bench is up, clapping, encouraging. You've got to create your own energy, kind of that bunker mentality. Coach Pugh talks about that all the time. Get, you know, hey, we don't need that, that external stuff. We should be able to get things done on our own. Johnson being guarded by Marquise Carter, yet to take a shot for Hawaii. There's Joaquin hanging in the air. Hart with a rebound. And here's Pangos in the open floor. You take that shot all day long. Big for GU. Joaquin is a nice player that did a good job last year's first year in Hawaii, but that is not his game. Much better on the low block. Here's Hart. Carter, this is an open three. It's long. Rebounded by Miles up court. This is Stokes around Pangos. Tip back, no good. Stokes again cleans it up. And our first bucket of the game, and now a blocking foul call. And we've got a bench warning called on the University of Hawaii. The assistants have to stay down. So they didn't like the call. 
Yeah, I think it's the right call. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get a replay, but you know, when an offensive player catches the ball and looks to move up the floor, you have to allow that player a step to gather himself and make a move. A player can't just turn and find a body there. That's an automatic block call for an official. You see uh, Monninghoff checking in the game for Mike Hart right off the bat. You see Mike Hart's been left open from Hawaii, by Hawaii on the defensive end. So Gonzaga brings in Mooninghoff to stretch the defense, put in a shooter right there. And off the bench, he misses his first one. Zachary with a long rebound. Back to Mooninghoff. Carter into the lane. Missed it. Got it back, but was standing on the end line. A nice move from Marquise getting to the rim, but just made that shot much more difficult than he had to. Had the left-handed layup. It may have felt like the defender was going to come over and try to block the shot, but go up strong with that initial look, and if you get fouled, you get two free throws. No, no need to make the shot more difficult on yourself. Gonzaga basketball. Well, Marquise has struggled from the field early in the season, and he's also been looking to get to the free throw line at times, and I think maybe on that last possession, he was looking for contact. Contact never came, so he was uncomfortable going to finish. Go to the rim, try to finish first, and if you get contact, great. Don't look for contact unless you're in the bonus. Trevor Wiseman with that foul, that's his second personal foul, three team fouls on Hawaii. So Wiseman already with two is a big story here early. Merninghoff driving, missed the shot. Merninghoff with the rebound, and now Pangos. Gonzaga struggling from the field right now, 0 for 7. Guys seem kind of nervous. They, they, they seem hesitant to pull the trigger, and well, you know, when, you, when you hesitate to shoot, you're often going to miss the shot. Harris. And there you go. That's a confident move from a guy who's playing awfully well to start this year. If you're going to shoot it, shoot it with confidence. Well, Coach Few will never take you out of the game if you take a shot with confidence. Hawaii turnover, deflection by Sacre, Merninghoff. Hawaii did a good job to get back defensively. Pangos, his first attempt. And he picks up tonight in Vancouver where he left off in Spokane against Washington State. That's something GU hasn't had the last couple seasons, and that's at that point guard spot, a shooter. Hey, your team's struggling to score. Having a point guard that can step up with confidence and knock down a jump shot can really help you, uh, not only uh, for, for that point guard, but collectively get you guys a little more confidence. Johnson lost the handle. It's another turnover for Hawaii, their fourth of the game. 15-12 to play first half. Gonzaga with a three-point lead. Kevin Pangos, nine three-point makes against the Washington State Cougars. One attempt here tonight, but it came in an interesting way. Tell us about it. Well, the, most of his threes against Washington State came off catch and shoots. I've yet to see him really come off a pick and roll and create a three-point opportunity for himself this season. That's the first time I can truly remember it. That is going to be a big shot for not only himself, but from Gonzaga's standpoint. They guard the three-pointer off the pick and roll. He'll be able to get into the paint off the dribble once he does that. And Gary Bell Jr. for three. That one almost went down. Long rebound. He got it back. New clock. We also saw a lot more from Gary Bell Jr. Here's a backdoor play to Pangos. The Bell Jr. played well against Washington State as well, 14 points. And Harris traveled inside. That was a great initial move there by Harris. Get the defense in the air. He's committed. Jump into him, get that foul contact, put a big in more foul pressure so you can get to the bonus earlier in the half. Well, if you can get Joachim in foul trouble, not a lot of good quality depth for Hawaii up front. He fouled out of four games last season, so you know he's foul prone. Like you said, Dan, just goes right, you know, right through his chin, draw the foul. Here's Johnson, his first look from three. That's off. Harris had the rebound, lost it. Joaquin runs it down for the Warriors. Here's Harris on defense. That shot off by Justin Thomas, number five. Tough pass there. Bell able to clean it up, but missed the shot. And now Johnson with the rebound for Hawaii. Tough pass and transition over the top from Kevin, trying to find Elias sprinting the floor. And GU lucky to come up with it and just get a shot up at all. Sometimes it's better to hit, hit those singles and doubles. You don't need, to, you need to pass a home run every time. That's not a great look. Pass inside of Joaquin. He couldn't handle that pass. And it stays with Hawaii here. 
You can tell Stokes is definitely a New York City point guard. <laughs> Good with the ball, searching for his opportunities to get into the paint. You can tell he definitely likes to score. First game of the year, 14 points, five assists. It's a pretty good debut for a college kid. Let's see if he can have 33 yeah. in his second game like Kevin Pangos did. But he's one of those type of players you got to be aware at all times or else you're going to wear the basketball. That is true. Yes. You could also pound that thing so it's flat by the second <laughs> half, though. That's uh, a typical trademark of a lot of New York City point guards. There's Sam Dower into the game for GU, guarding the inbound. Great pressure defensively on the inbounds pass right there from Dower. Took away potential layup off the inbounds play. And how about that pass from Stokes to Davis Rositis? And it's a 5 4 game. There's Merninghoff from the corner. That shot's off. And now Tempo's starting to pick up in this game a bit. A great read by Merninghoff to find the open space. You get baseline drive, baseline drift. A lot of times defense will lose track of you, just like they did there. Merninghoff got an open shot. He's got to knock that down if he wants to play consistent minutes, especially early in the season. And now we got a foul on Hawaii, or actually on Gonzaga, I'm sorry. I guess it was on Murninghoff. That might have been on Dower on a moving screen trying to get Murninghoff open from an out of bounds play. Well, I'm waiting. We don't have the great stat board in here, so we're waiting for it to update, but it must have been on Dower. You're right. And now a foul called on number five, Justin Thomas of Hawaii. So that uh, should be team foul number five on Hawaii. You can see Hawaii is trying to take away Kevin Pangos. Easy entries bringing the ball into in the front court. Anytime you can take away the point guard of a team and force two guards, three three wing players to enter into your offense, you're going to be at an advantage defensively. Dower from the elbow. I like that shot. Be aggressive. You know, the start of the year, Sam hasn't played a whole lot given how well Elias and Rob have played, but you look at him, only three field goals attempted per game on the year. He needs to be getting about five or six per game. And part of that's just him being more aggressive, searching out opportunities. There's a travel, no bucket. Johnson Thomas got inside, tried a little scoop shot, but took a step. Well, you mentioned Sam a second ago. He hasn't been as aggressive as possibly he should be, but he's also got himself in foul trouble, and that's limited his minutes early in the season. You see right away, look how physical and how much pressure Hawaii tries to put on the perimeter on every catch a guy's up into the ball really trying to eliminate some of those lines of sights on those passes Angus that was a high arcing shot one of two now from behind the arc Stokes this is Miles and now Thomas with Harris there puts a shoulder right into Harris missed the shot tip back is good by Davis Rositis his second bucket That's just turning, watching the flight of the ball, not searching for your man for a, the block out. And that's a mistake from Sam Dower. Harris tries the three. Dower took it away and earns the trip to the free throw line. <laughs> Foul called on Justin Thomas. That's his second. Sam Dower keeping it alive. He'll shoot free throws when we come back. Gonzaga up by a point. Welcome back to Rogers Arena. There's Rob Sacre. Home. He, he couldn't tell me how many friends and family were going to be in this game or at the game tonight. He said, there'll be 6,000 people. They'll all be here for me. <laughs> <laughs> As we take a look at some of the career numbers, third on the block shots list at seven feet, 260 pounds, and uh, now, a I personality with... that you can't fit in that little box. That is true. The the other personalities on that box. Yeah. Roney's a very similar personality. <laughs> Casey Calvary is a complete 180 difference. <laughs> but I think he can catch Roney. I don't think he's going to be able to catch Casey Calvary with the all-time block shots. I agree. Some records are just not meant to be broken. And had you hit one more three in a game, you'd still have that record too. Yeah. You know, I would like to uh, add that it was great shooting performance in two halves. <laughs> I'll let you finish the story. 